So here's another problem that's going to require the use of the Pythagorean theorem. Probably one of the most famous theorems that you'll ever come across. I bet if you ask your parents, they will even remember the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So in this problem here, I've got a diagonal line drawn, and I wrote at the top, how long is this diagonal line? You could get out your ruler and you could try to estimate that by measuring it with a ruler, but that's the wimpy way. Let's use a more mathematical way to try to solve for this diagonal length. The first thing you'll notice is that this is drawn on a dot grid. So what we can do, if we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem, we're going to need a right triangle in here somewhere. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make this diagonal line the hypotenuse of a right triangle. And so I can do that by drawing a line down like this, going down two squares this way, and let's connect it over here by going straight over that way. All right, we don't, know, we can't, you know, just count how long this diagonal line is, but we can count how long the lines are if they are vertical or horizontal, if they go straight up and down, or if they are side to side. We can just count those lengths, and that's pretty easy. So this length here is going down one, two. So this side length is two. How about the length of this leg here? By the way, this is our right angle right there. How long is this leg right here? It's going over one, two, three, four, five. So the length of this leg is five. So now it's just a matter of using our Pythagorean theorem to find that side length. You can, as I showed in a previous earlier video, if you watched one of those, you can use the Pythagorean theorem in a more geometric way, where you're actually drawing squares, finding areas, adding those areas together to get the area of the square of the hypotenuse. Or you could plug numbers directly into the Pythagorean theorem's formula, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. I think I'm going to try to show you uh, at least the geometric way. Maybe I'll try to show both. So. Here we go, let's start by drawing our squares. I'll draw one square on that leg. I'll draw a square on this leg. It's got to go down five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll connect it over here like this. And let's draw the square going up this way. Drawing it perfectly isn't that important really. But we know that the area of this square is going to be 2 by 2. 2 times 2 is 4. The area of this square here is going to be 5 times 5, which is 25. And now what the Pythagorean theorem says is that the area of this square, the area of the square of this leg, plus the area of the square of this leg equals the area of the square of the hypotenuse. So 4 plus 25 equals the area of this square. 4 plus 25 is 29. So the side length, so the area of the square is 29. What about the side length, the length of this here? If we know the area of the square is 29, the side length is going to simply be the square root of 29. And that's a decimal. If you did that on your calculator, it's a decimal that goes on forever and ever. So to leave it as an exact value, I think I'm going to just leave it as the square root of 29. We could use the formula a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And we could also use that to plug numbers in. We could say 2 squared plus 5 squared is equal to c squared or 4 plus 25 is equal to c squared, or 29 is equal to c squared, or the square root of 29 is equal to c. So I used the formula method work just as well. Either way will work, but that's how you can get the length of a diagonal line.